I know this doesn't change anything, but it helps. Thank you. I need some time alone with her. To say goodbye. Never been better. Oh, fuck me. It's you from the Nautiloid. Please tell me I found you before those so called paladins of Tear did. Now that's a story, and I'll tell it to you, but truth be told, we shouldn't stay here too long. See, these paladins of... A great heat roars through you. Her heat, fiery as the hells. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies. As you tear through a landscape of fire and blood. The blood war. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. Mountains as far as the eye can see. Guess that explains the voices. From that peak I got into your head, you've made some inroads trying to get the thing sorted. But alas, no joy. I'm Karlak, and you are... Well met, soldier. Now that we're old pals, how would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? A little background, if your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good at killing demons. 
Really good. So good, Zariel, the Archdevil herself, made me her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there. It took me ten years to properly escape, but now I'm free. Zariel sent goon after goon to hunt me down. But believe me when I tell you, I'm not going. The latest yappy little dog she sicked on me are nearby. A group of dopes posing as paladins of tear. Wanna help me take them down? Fuck yes. They cornered me outside the toll house just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. After we've mopped them up, we can work on evicting this parasite and take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? I like her. She looks like she could throw me over her shoulder and carry me to safety. Should the need arise. I'd hug you if it wouldn't scorch your skin off. Hang on, though. Looks like you've got enough backup at your side. Not sure there's room for me. I'll catch up with you when it's time to camp for now. But don't get to any of the fun stuff without me. Got it?
sorry I wasn't there to help. That'll change from now on, I promise. Come on, you're not picking a gift for your sweetheart. Grab a blade. We're ready to head to your camp. Are you? Excellent. Lead the way. Have a drink. I'm fine. Uh, loosen up, Icarus. No, no. And Albert. <laughs> Toddlers are easier to please than you lot. Would you look at this place? All these people, happy because of us. It's nice to be somewhere where good is still possible. And with good potations, too. Fuck yes. I'm celebrating my freedom and our friendship and these folks' bright future besides. All I need now is a fire-retardant lover to get lost in till sunrise. Speaking of which, it's something I wanted to tell you. Hear that? Infernal engine for a heart. Let's me burn as hot as the hells. Seems to be running in overdrive since I left Avernus. It also means if I'm heated at all, excited, nervous, scared, I'm way too hot to touch. Won't be seeing my mechanic anytime soon, so I'm afraid I just can't get too close. High pain tolerance, and a dynamic duo of truly shitty bosses. But let's not get into tragic backstories now. It's such a beautiful night. so much. You spend the whole time avoiding swords and schemes. Plus, people just get nastier as the night wears on. I tried to make friends at first. Learned my lesson fast. Better to keep to yourself in hell. Ah, come on. Let's not spoil an effective thing. You point, I rage, we win. Doesn't need to be more complicated than that. Hope you're enjoying the night, hero. I certainly am. Cheers to many more like this. You know, I never pictured myself as a hero. Never thought I'd be the one they'd toast for saving so many lives. And now that I'm here... I hate it. This is awful. We killed some goblins to save some tieflings. The tally of lives didn't change much. But what do I get for all my hard work? A pat on the head and vinegar for wine.
It's a heavy, rich red. Dry and sharp. See what I mean? Awful. All I want is a little fun. Is that so much to ask? By the hells. Sex, my dear. A night of passion. And not with you, just to be clear. I mean, can you imagine? <laughs> Ugh, no. Anyway, don't let me keep you. I'm sure you have someone else to sniff around. I have seen the Kithraki tear a screaming Niogi's legs from its belly to fashion into blades. Yet, they could not match your nerve today. It was enough to drive me to madness. I smell their blood on you still. I smell your sweat. I mean to taste it. Yes. Sex. A night such as this calls for flesh to feast on, and I have chosen the sweetest. You know the fortune of my company. Another fortune yet stands before you. A warrior's flesh, rarely tasted. <sighs> Think if you must. The chance will pass come light of day. Go on now. Don't waste a night like this talking to me. We'll discuss your problem tomorrow. In truth, I rarely imbibe. The stuff goes right to my head. Before you know it, I'd be breaking into song or declaring love to the first person I laid eyes on. Then you have never heard me singing. <laughs> Which makes you very fortunate. Go on, enjoy yourself. Seek out some wine before it runs dry. There are a lot of thirsty people around here. Aha, there you are! Come now, settle in. I do hope you have partaken of something bracing. This may well take us all night. Why, you're naming, quite obviously. That ballad was but a crude preview, a frame without its crowning jewel. Your nom de guerre. Something iconic, but not too much of a mouthful. We don't want to exclude the common folk, after all. I intend this tale to enrapture all. Not to meddle in your side of this partnership, but slaying goblins is not exactly the stuff of legends, is it? After all, I'm quite certain I once saw one expire from the strain of spelling his own name. No, I'm afraid that won't do. You shall simply have to go out and slay something decidedly more dramatic. beautiful night, don't you think? Nothing like a brush with destruction to make one appreciate the majesty of a celestial canvas. It's a view I would once have shared with my companion, though definitely unaccompanied by such revelry. She preferred it when we were alone, curled up before a crackling hearth with some ancient esoteric tome between us, ink glinting in the firelight. Geron's lost nose. No! I speak of Tara, my Tressen, assistant, my constant companion through all the ills and tribulations my hubris has thrust upon me. She'd be most impressed by our efforts saving these tieflings. Proud, even. And I've given her little to be proud of recently. 
after I was afflicted with my condition and locked myself in my tower for an entire year. It was inconsolable, wallowing in my self-inflicted tragedy. I've given up on myself, but Tara never did. It was her encouragement, her research that led me to my treatment. Once we knew that magically infused items were the key, she went out to find them for me. She saved my life. After so long being cared for by someone else, it feels good to have repaid the favor. Not directly to Tara, but to these poor tieflings. I'm sure she would approve. Smart does her a disservice. She's a fine wizard in her own right, though somewhat held back by her lack of opposable thumbs. You remind me of her somewhat. There's a steeliness in you. An unwavering tenacity, even in the face of, to be frank, quite dire odds. Wish she were here for me to make a formal introduction. But I would never ask her to undertake such a journey. She's safer at home. Besides, she was always telling me I needed to spread my wings, so to speak. Find mortal friends instead of hanging onto Mistress coattails. So that's what I'm doing. I hope. <laughs> Very funny. But as we all know, nymphs are sticklers when it comes to their bathing routines. You, my friend, haven't been near a fresh spring in a ten-day or more. Not that I don't appreciate your... musk. Actually, rather like it. Well, this seems as good a time as any for me to stop babbling on. Understood. You shall hear no more on the subject from me. Consider this budding romance thoroughly nipped. Though I hope our friendship need not come to such an abrupt end. Go! Indulge in the frivolities. They're good for the heart. And mine will be all the lighter to see you enjoying yourself. Sherry! That's infernal for cheers. Or possibly turnip. I wouldn't give us a respite. Patience? Have you no respect for showmanship? Having performance issues, Roland. Hush you. And behold! Adoring applause? You're too kind. Remember when he could barely cast that? They grow up so fast. Never have I met such troglodytes. Now, pass the wine. Think of it. No more caves. No more tents. No more running away. We'll be in a city with roads and markets and homes. Look at them all. Guzzling poison like we've the right to be happy. Not everyone. We lost people and it's like they don't even care. But I care. And I won't drink myself into a stupor to change that. Everyone seems to be in high spirits. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for?
Your words, not mine. But not what I mean. I mean... desperate people. Like those refugees. Never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. That's more easily said by some than others. But nobody's here to debate right from wrong. Share a bottle with me? We should wait a little while. Until the others have drifted off. Best not keep me waiting. I'd prefer not to entertain myself. This might be the wine talking, but I'm feeling inspired. Thinking of writing my next song about you. But I need an angle. Any ideas? Fitting. You're braver than half this camp combined. That deserves to be remembered. You have no idea how good it feels to see these people smiling. The singing we could probably do without, but even so, thank you. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? Very well. Buzz of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. Though you seek repose, you needn't spend the night alone. There is one who yearns for you in the dark. Who will you seek? Your heart skips a beat. What treasures might this night bestow? You made it. Come here. Sit with me. So eager. I'm surprised it took you this long. Well, to begin, I think a toast is in order. Any suggestions? Very practical. We could have toasted to that every night so far. Here's to many more. Survival. Now tell me something about yourself. And no tadpoles, dragons, marauding goblins or anything like that. Something about you. Provided the refreshments, you can supply the entertainment. Mm. 
Seems like you truly know the city. I never got to explore it to my liking. Don't stop now. Not just as things are getting interesting. Sounds like you just need a little more liquid inspiration. There's still plenty of wine, and the whole night is ahead of us. Nearly light. The others will be awake soon. What? I know. But you're sweet to notice. Thank you for last night. Just what I needed. I suppose we'll have to. We should head back. <sighs> I trust you enjoyed your evening. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done. And I promised I would help you however I could. I knew about your tadpole the moment I saw you. An archdruid knows all that is natural and unnatural. I have studied this menace for some time and wish to see it eradicated. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but it's complicated. The journey specifically, it's extremely perilous, though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings. Tormented. Dangerous souls. You could go overland along the Risen Road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined Temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorm built a secret stronghold deep down there before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicius, Shah worshippers. Dark Justicius? I must see for myself. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, 
Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers. And maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. You'll need to pick it up where Aradin left off. Find the hidden entrance. It's somewhere in the Temple of Saluna. One of the adventurers had a clue to help find it. A dwarf called Brian. It might still be found on his corpse. Wherever the goblins left it. The decision is yours, but I'd favor the Underdark. Even a place like that is the lesser evil compared to the Shadow-Cursed Lands. Anything is preferable to risking the Shadow Curse. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned. Unfinished business, and a lifetime of regret to repair. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thorm and his Dark Justicias years ago. But I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. I spent years researching the curse, trying to put an end to it. Nothing has worked. Yet, if I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse. Same as you may find a cure for your infection. May Sylvanus guide us. Do not be so impatient to move on as Halsin. As ever, the Githyanki Kresh remains our priority. All's well, I hope. No. I just wanted to see how you felt after the night we spent together. When we talked, I thought you were going to kiss me. I was almost sure of it. I can't recall the last time I shared so much with someone. Maybe I never did before. It meant a lot to me. You mean a lot to me. I thought you were going to kiss me. I wanted you to kiss me. I hope so too. Though I'm not sure what kind of courtship will be afforded, given all that we're facing. But if you want to see where this goes, I do as well. If you're sure. Fine. I'll be here whenever you rediscover your taste in company. Hey, yeah.
can't give up now. So, hey, we've got this soul coin, right? Thing is, I think I can use it. My engine can, anyway. Zariel used to top me up every now and again when she wanted me to go after an especially wicked target. Nah, it'll be fine. Sort of. Next time we find ourselves toe-to-toe -to -toe with something we want to squash, drop a coin in, see what happens. Fuck yes. Now I just need something to sink my teeth into. Midges. Shouldn't nature be beautiful and serene? It looks so nice in the upper city part. Upper city, huh? Swish. Never spent much time there myself. I'll happily take you, if we survive this bug's banquet. Hmm. Sounds good. I've always been curious what a patriarch loo looks like. What's so funny? You haven't got some laughing curse, have you? <laughs> I really made it out of Avernus. It's incredible. All right, just keep it down. We're conspicuous enough without your hyena call. Whoever killed those gnolls might be nearby. Careful. Please, no more. Leave us in peace and we shall leave you in kind. Cut the crap, Anders. I know what you are. Don't let her hurt us. Please, we just want to go home. They serve the Archdevil Zariel. Biggest liar in all the realms. Seems her servants have picked up some of Mummy's tricks. Believe me, these sneaky fucks won't stop till they have me hogtied at her feet. It isn't true. Half of us are badly injured, the other half dead. I admit we ambushed you. An assignment from our god, Tyr. We thought you a devil. And with your flames, you proved us right. But Tyr will not consign us to our death. He is merciful. Leave us, and we'll leave you. You can't possibly believe this shit. Go on if you want, 
But I can't. That's right, Karlak. So now, as in the Hells, I can see why her ladyship wants a murderous brute like you back. Enough! Enough! I'll not play pretend anymore, Karlak. You're going home in pieces of needs, must. And you. You'll soon learn what it means to ally yourself with the likes of this garbage. The furnace was never my home. It was my prison. I'm free now. And I'm never going back! That's right, I A better position. Forever, pal. No choice but to keep going. No. This Make way. I'm never going back. And if any of Mummy's little friends want to pick up where the others left off, they'll find nothing but a pile of ash.
That's right, she won't. She can't. She couldn't even lay a finger. <laughs> to do it. Whew. Had to let off a little steam after facing off with those ignots. Granted, the fire's lasting a little longer than it should. How do I look? Careful, soldier. If I burn any hotter, I might explode. Engine heats up the whole system enough not to get burned. Hopefully it will hold together long enough to get tuned up. Let's move, eh? I'm running high and in the mood for a fight. <laughs> <laughs> 